your news and information leader. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Hi, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. Thanks for staying up late with us. A long-standing tradition at the Nashville Fairgrounds comes under fire again. Now a Metro Council member is taking steps to reverse the fair board's vote to stop gun shows at the fairgrounds. New tonight, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon takes a look at a debate that continues to heat up. Council member Steve Glover says the fair board may have violated the Metro Charter with the vote and paved the way for multi-million dollar lawsuits against the city. Now he's planning to file a resolution Friday to challenge the decision. A 35 year tradition at the Nashville Fairgrounds was put on hold after the Metro Board of Fair Commissioners voted to halt future gun shows at the city owned fairgrounds due to safety concerns. We addressed the information at hand and thought it was prudent to, you know, take a break while we study the matter. The vote isn't sitting well with Metro Council member Steve Glover, who believes the board may have violated a Metro Charter Amendment designed to preserve activities at the fairgrounds site. He says the result could be costly for taxpayers. We are setting ourselves up for a potential lawsuit that could cost millions of dollars, and I'm not willing to stand on the sidelines and let that happen. Council member Glover says losing revenue from the regular gun shows could also have a big impact on the fairgrounds bottom line. If you have a quarter of a million dollars disappear halfway into the year, I would worry they're going to come back to the council and ask for supplemental funding, and I'm going to say no. Mayor Megan Barry says she wants to make sure Metro facilities are being used in a safe and legal way and asks the Metro Department of Law to review the fair board's vote. What I want to know is if it's a legal decision. Clearly, boards and commissions are empowered to make decisions, but we want to make sure that when our boards and commissions are making decisions that they are doing so in a lawful manner. Council Member Glover will file the resolution tomorrow morning. The issue would go before the council at the next meeting on December 15th. Rory, back to you. Emily, thanks. There is an event scheduled at the fairgrounds this weekend. Bill Goodman's gun and knife show will go on as planned. The Tennessee Firearms Association sent an email to members today encouraging them to support the show.